I'm here with um, two reputable six deuce brims, Harvard Park brims, Lil Man and B.O. They out of prison. I think one did 27 years, the other one did 30 years, but they both home, 31, 32. They both home now being interviewed by the BBC um, out of England. Very powerful brothers. I'm going to squeeze them into an interview after they finish right there doing this interview. Yes, after 33 years. Yeah, 33 years. He, this, the one, before I did. this is the one. I'm the innocent one. This the one got me a life sentence no, he right gave, here. He's following this mug right here. <laughs> the reputation got him a life sentence. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah that reputation. Yeah, that reputation. Yeah, reputation is all right, well, what, what's your name, bro? My name is Charles Slate, man. That's my government name. Well, what the, what they call they you? They call me Little Man. Uh, but you ain't little, brother. No, what you, no, six no, four, six five? Six four. Six a decent two fifty. <laughs> a decent two fifty. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's about two sixty. Yeah. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. And what's your name, bro? My name is Bobby Bragg. Bobby Allen. Uh, uh, don't say my middle name. That's my middle name. That, that's my yeah, government. What they call you, brother? They call me B.O. And how long did you do? Thirty-three years. Thirty-three years. And how long did you do? I did twenty-seven. Yes, indeed, man. And you guys are from the infamous. What area is that over there on Dinker? We're over, from Harvard. Harvard Park. Harvard Park. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Where we so, are now, we, we we making sure that we making our community a better place to live. Yes, indeed. You know, and doing the right thing and showing these youngsters, man, that we have we have an alternative. Yes, indeed. We do have an alternative to some of the stuff we think that we are we are paralyzed by. So. so look, so there are people who are in New York, New Jersey, people in Memphis, Tennessee, and they claim brims, man. Um, and, and they always ask them for people to show them the right way, and they want to know how to be a blood and how to be a brim, but I want to, I want them to know how to be a decent human being. Exactly. How could they be good people, brother? What, how can you share something with them that they could be good people, and well, what would that be? With me, I had to learn my behavior. I know that behavior change was the biggest thing in the world. You can never change you because you are who you are. And I, I consider myself as Bobby Braggs now. I don't call myself B.O. because that's a tie to what I represented at that time. And I look where it got me. It got me 25 to life in prison for a crime I didn't do. But if you change your behavior, that helps out a lot. Behavior means as far as the things that you do that's wrong, that's going to put you in prison. See, and if you can do that, learn to follow behind mentors is the best thing in the world. And we can get more brothers like you guys and us to be able to get out there and show the positive role model as a role model, not just somebody just you call big brother, but right. somebody that's doing the right thing. And you can make it, man. Right. So 25 years for something you didn't commit. What was you going to say? 30, 30, 33. Yeah. Don't yeah. knock him off that no. Right, right, right. But for me, it's uh, I had to understand what a man was first before I could carry myself in any respectful manner, you know, came up through the ranks, uh, and just being a loving human being, man, was something that, that was missing from my life for a long time, because I didn't know who I was, and know what I, what, what uh, positive things I brought to myself, or my family, or my community. Now I understand that. For me, I understand that I'm always going to be who I am. I'm from Harvard. You know what I'm saying? But I don't approach a situation that I did back in my 20s. I'm not looking for no beefs with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I ain't looking for no beefs, no crips, no, 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 uh, Anybody of any other race, anything, I know that me being from Harvard, I know I have young individuals up under me that are going through the same things that led me to doing a life sentence in prison. And I, if, if at all, I want to stop them from going that way. So I'm being a positive example as being a brim, being a positive example in positive lights and saying that we can hold on to our, 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 our labels. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because this is something that I've had homeboys die in my arms, you know, and I refuse to let that go. Right, you know, but at the same token, I know that we can do we can do this in a positive light. If we band together and come together in a positive light, our community can be unstoppable. So just imagine if there's somebody who wants to live up to that reputation and all that. Are you saying that they can still be a brim, but they can go to work every day? Exactly. They can go to school every day and exactly. graduate, get a master's degree, exactly. and they can still be a brim. Exactly, and that's contributing to the cause, not being a detriment to the cause. You know, that's contributing because if we are in positions of power then we can make things happen. We can help our community job if we're in positions of power. And what did you guys just do today? I just saw the trucks leaving, a whole bunch of boxes. What was this oh, about? A week, it was a turkey giveaway. The second call, we came back to give back to our community. We had two supposed to be opposing communities here, hand in hand, sharing and uh, helping our community. Yes, sir. And how many turkeys was it about, do you know? It was over 800. Over they 800 said, turkeys? It was over 800. 
Right. Definitely over 800. Over 800. Each box, so about 1,200 yeah. maybe. You know, yeah, and everybody got fed. Everybody got some, so it was a good day. And, and is that what people who really want to be brims can they do that? Yeah, they can, can they? Can yeah. they? Can they give to the community instead of tearing down the community? Yes, instead can. of doing robberies and stuff like that, can they give away turkeys? And is that acceptable by individuals who've done 32 years, uh, 33 years, and and 27 years? It's not only acceptable; yes. it's desirable. That's well, what we desirable. desire because we understand. We understand what 32, 33 years in prison can do to an individual. It will make you a man, man. I can tell you that. I'm right. living. I got a family. I own my own home. I've been doing this with my wife. I've been with her, man. I can tell you, for me to be a, from being a dope dealer, gang member, destroying the community, that's what I was a part of. And I went away. It was bittersweet. I went away innocent, but I came back being a respecter citizen. That's what I want to be. I want to be able to give back. I got clothes in my trunk right now that I'm ready to give back to the community that me and my wife, since we moved, we giving back everything that we can because I like to help people who's less fortunate than me. I knew I had that trace in my blood because doing in prison, that's all I did. I raised other people's children. I never right. got to raise my own. And people don't even think about that, no. man. Being in prison, there's yeah. a, always an OG, a homie, yeah. who's going to look out. So man, and then what's even more incredible is you guys are being interviewed by the BBC, man, the world famous BBC. Yeah, get up in there. Do y'all see this right here? This, and that's the pastor right there, this wonderful church right here. And uh, go ahead in there, Chantez. I'm gonna take a picture if y'all don't mind. Go in there, Chantez, because uh, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture as I interview. I'm interviewing and going to take a picture at the same time. That's the beauty of an Android, is to be able to do both at the same time. If I can just get Jenny to look real quick. You guys get closer like y'all might like each other right here. So how many years, Chantez, give us your prison time. How many years? 17 years. 17 years and 33 is how much? 50. Okay, and then add your 27. Add 27. That's 77. That's 77 years of prison time. I think the pastor went to jail for a day or two when he was young. <laughs> 90 days. 90 days. So we, don't take it 89 days. days. <laughs> right, okay. So, yes, indeed. So this, this picture right here, man, is, is very powerful.